Hello everyone, I hope you are doing well. Today, I would like to introduce an important Chinese martial art practice. The name of the practice is called Hun Yuan Stance. So before we move on to the movement, let's talk about what is Hun Yuan concept. So what is Hun Yuan? Hun Yuan is a Chinese philosophical concept which is used to describe the philosophical belief of the origin of the universe. The term is rooted in Taoism, or part of the metaphysics of Chinese philosophy. More specifically, Taoism used this term Hun Yuan to describe the stage prior to polarization or the stage before yin and yang. In Chinese martial art community, the term has been used by many schools of internal style of martial art. And different schools use this term to name their own practice. So, you may have noticed that different practices share the same name. However, even though people use this term to name their different practice, this term is only used in naming a stance. The reason is that the term Hun Yuan is only used to describe the static, static practice in Chinese martial art, or, co or commonly called as Zhan Zhuang in Chinese. In the Xing Yi system that I studied, there's a Hun Yuan stance practice. Today, I would like to introduce it to you. The objective of this exercise is to strengthen the body, to help practitioners understand the concept of body coordination in a static situation. I would like to remind you that please pay attention to those details of intended body structural practice. So let's get started. To start this movement, first let's keep the feet apart at two times on the shoulder length, two times. If you keep high posture, you can keep this at one half times of the shoulder rest. The better is the best is the two times of the shoulder rest. Two times. First. Second, if we put the weight on let's say this leg, to me it's my right leg. Okay? So the the foot should turn outward about 45 to 60 degrees. 45 to 60 degrees. Then the, the other foot should turn inward about 30 to 45 degrees. So 65 to 60, 30 to 45. If we maintain our body weight on the right leg, that's the first. Second, the knee should extend outward, slightly outward. Now, put our right hand extend upward. Left palm is face downward in front of the stomach or navel or just beside the navel. This is up to you. One important part is the right elbow should coordinate with the right knee or above the right knee. The left elbow extend forward and coordinate with the right elbow. Then the right, left, right palm pushes upward, left palm pushes downward. Keep slightly strength on, on the fingers, have a little bit of strength. Okay. Then where we focus? We focus on the left, forward, and downward. It's not forward here. It's not forward there. It's a forward, downward to the right direction. Yes. And uh, we do not shift our weight forward so much. So more backward. So like this. Yes. And the very important part is we have to tense the right side of the neck. Tense this area, relax this area. So tense the right side, relax the left side. If we look at this toward this direction. Knee extend outward. Here over the knee. Elbow coordin elbows coordinate to each other. Palms coordinate to each other. Breathe naturally. Then how long you can keep this practice? You can keep each, each practice for each side for about 30 seconds to 1 minute. 
when you feel this side enough, then switch to the other side, and then you can repeat again. So let's repeat those important coordination. First of all, knee extend 45 to 60 degree. Here, 30 to 45 degree. Put the weight at here. Right elbow is above the right knee. Palm push upward, palm push downward. Elbows coordinate, hand coordinate. Look toward left, downward, and forward. Tense the right side of the neck. Relax this side. Relax the chest, shoulder extend out, then roll forward. Then breathe naturally. Keep this stance. Focus that here. Then head extend up. You can repeat this movement for many times for each side, but for each time you should maintain the structure at least for 30 seconds to 1 minute. So let's summarize this practice. The objective of this exercise is to strengthen the body, is to understand the coordination of different parts of the body. When I was a child, my grandfather taught me this movement, and he asked me to practice every day. Then when I teach my students, I ask my students to practice on a daily basis. To myself, I almost practice this every day. Oh, if I practice, this should be part of my daily routine. I hope you will do the same, and I hope you enjoy this practice. Thank you. We we'll see each other next time.